Hello there! In today's episode, we have talked to European Solidarity Corps volunteers Özcan and Aurelie to hear how they coped with the lockdown in Lisbon. You are listening to Corona Diaries. Hello. It all started when I was eight. Of course, not. I'm not going to start from that. that part. My name is Aurelie. And I'm a volunteer at the moment at SPIN. So what I was doing, I studied English language teaching and then I stopped doing it and I decided to do something else, something that matters. So I was looking for some projects. Then I saw speak. Um, I grew up in the UK. I studied languages and um, did a master's in social anthropology. What SPEAK does is basically they bring migrants, refugees, immigrants, like basically any newcomers in the city together with the locals. So they work with the integration process of those people. And I'm really happy to be part of it. And what I'm doing is that I try to support the team in any way that I can. I arrived to Lisbon not long, not much before the lockdown. And so I hadn't really established a, a routine, you know, a normal routine. Um, but I definitely had kind of expectations of how my life was going to be. So I um, was joining like meetup groups to meet people and starting work at Spin. And so, um, you know, in my mind, I was I was going to be meeting people and kind of starting a, a life here. After the quarantine started, yeah, like um, this was also kind of like exploring myself because I saw that um, when I'm like far away from the team, I was basically having some self motivational issues. And after the quarantine started, I started to work less, put my time in the work less. I had a bit of experience and maybe a bit of preparation for for a a lockdown type situation just before because I was, um, I spent a few months living in a community. And so I barely left the place, you know, for like two and a half months. I went to the nearest village, maybe like twice and uh, and I went home for, for Christmas, but basically that was like a good, a good preparation for lockdown. Uh, the best thing is I had time that I can um, give to myself. So I started to balance my life and work. And that way I think I became more efficient. It's not like I can't be like focused on one thing for long periods of time. I need to do something else. I need to work. I need to listen to music, to go downstairs, to walk a bit. I went to that community because I uh, I had a bit of a crisis and I needed, I wanted some some space from like my normal life. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so, so actually I went there as a retreat, I would say. And I came, and here I came to kind of come out of that retreat. And so I had kind of uh, felt started feeling better after a few months of, of not feeling so good when I arrived here. And so then being in isolation or lockdown alone, uh, actually, I would say now it was really good timing for me because, yeah, I've been on my own, which has meant that I've done a lot of reflection and I really needed that. When I think of this past two months since the quarantine started, it feels like an accelerated uh, process of life for me. In these two months, what I've been doing was pretty much the same thing that I was doing in the last 10 years. One day I was trying something else, second day I was trying something else. So I can see this like two months of period has been like a full of experience. Like I just started tried to do painting you know i've never tried this my in my life uh, in my previous life i've learned things like uh i've been learning lots of songs on my guitar <laughs> and um i've been thinking a lot about my 
like potential plans for the future um and f feeling quite inspired i think this time has been has given me a lot a lot of time to think about what i really want to do yeah what i'm feeling right now is that i want to focus on some positive things um because i can see in a broader vision now if this will be like a month ago i would be like hmm, maybe i'm not sure about this. maybe i should complain and all in the first days it was like a struck coming down from the from the sky <laughs> to all of the people like when you're thinking everything is good everything is everything's okay you know it's all casual we are we're going with the waves and all and suddenly talk all of the people all around the world just just, just felt that the hard parts are well the the same as the good as the the great parts <laughs> like being constantly confronted with myself you know which sometimes can be really hard <laughs> it's like um uh process it's and the thing is like i i've I, one of the things i've learned is i think is to to actually be more accepting of my experience so you know there's really shitty times like moments that i feel i feel terrible and lonely and sad and i don't understand why it why it is that i'm on my own here now um and then and then i, I managed to to look into that you know i have the time and the space to look into that and so i i think probably i wouldn't say for me the hardest thing is like not being with people because it's not what it gave me was the was that when you get used to going out all the time when you get used to diving into some adventures when you meet used to meeting a lot of people it's hard for you to stay at home your body your your, your mind your ego always wants to do something wants to try something something new the, the quarantine kind of forced me to it you know to stay at home and after three days I started to feel okay. I started to feel like okay. I maybe like I used to stay at home and I wouldn't complain about it when I was in high school. So going back to the roots, like this is working, and it's it's helpful for me, you know. But most of the time, I managed to remember that the sh the difficult moments are that they're temporary, you know. So as much as right now, like I can be having a bad time, then like ten minutes later, I'm like having the great, having a great time. And I, I would say the reason that I'm managing to do that is because I'm, and maybe the same for others, like I'm managing to just fit, sit with it as opposed to trying to resist. And that's a big learning for me at the moment. Is like in, instead of trying to resist negative emotions or feelings, just be with it allow it to be and then and then it passes life has been going very really slow of course because when i was outside i was meeting with people i was connecting with people i was going someplace else like every night um so the life was kind of going fast because every memory was hard to catch so you tend to think that okay i can't catch all the memories so life is going fast that's the illusion that it creates Maybe it's been like a fast track <laughs> because being on my own and kind of confronting things and having a lot of time to, to read and reflect. The, the basis of EVS is to experience and the, the most impactful experiences, uh, like they cannot be done without people. I mean, I think in, in a way, a lot of people have I like idealize this kind of situation of i'm talking here you know without the actual the cause of it without the um the fact that there is you know the, the pandemic mm -hmm. going on and that's the cause of this isolation i've heard a lot of people like kind of uh, idea like romanticize about being about having time to just focus on their on you know their stuff and i think we're in the situation we're in we're lucky you know to have to be doing the evs and so be like we're still working so there's working like there's not the the kind of um hardships of losing a job mm -hmm. and things like that but in the quarantine i realized that okay going out 
in the evenings just for walking, for nothing else, not for going home, not for going to work. And I've realized I really, really enjoy this thing, like walking around. Of course, I was listening to music and I realized that, okay, certain kind of music, I really enjoy them and they really like give me certain kind of euphoria when I was walking. Going for a walk, I guess it helps because I know that it's something that I enjoy and I'm open to, say, going for a walk and, and seeing just how my whole feelings can be sh be changed by, by just um, interacting with my surroundings. The, the funny thing is this, this walking in the quarantine um, was caused by isolation. But the end result, that walking outside, listening to, to, to my own albums and everything, gave me that, okay, I'm not alone. Like there was a day that I went for a run and, and then it started raining and it was like really exciting because <laughs> I don't know, I didn't know the last time I'd been running in the rain and it mm -hmm. felt really nice and refreshing. It was um, it was the photographs that I take and I like just out of fun I started to work on them and I kind of realized okay um, like also with the video edits but making something using the real world objects and manipulating them in in a way that they can express your own feelings I think that's what I had enjoyed in the last past month and it made me feel like. I'm myself again. I've been grateful a lot for the internet, you know, in this time I've been super grateful for the internet because mm -hmm. I just think, what would this be without it? But then it would be different, it would be a totally different situation. I, I can't, I can't imagine. Maybe I would have been okay with that too. It was nice to see some, some organizations are kind of organizing uh, classes on Zoom, like sleeping sessions together, which looked like amazing for me sleeping I sessions like, together yeah i just saw one screen screenshot and everyone was like sleeping on their beds like the bed behind here i was i'm sleeping there everyone is sleeping on the screen 20 30 people it was probably about a month ago i was just looking out the front and it was at night time it was dark and i saw a guy because the, the uh, at the front here there's a, a um a road that goes up Mm -hmm. And um, I saw this guy walking up the road, and then I know I, he stopped and noticed the cat, <laughs> and he started trying to um, get the cat's attention, so making some noises, mm -hmm. and um, and so the guy like crouched down and and was still trying to get the cat to come closer, and then the, then a, a sound or something frightened the cat, and the cat ran off. And so the guy tried again to get the cat's attention, but couldn't. So he carried on walking, but he walked really slowly and he kept kind of turning back to see if the cat <laughs> might like, you know, follow him. And the reason I tell the story is because I loved having the kind of time and attention to both for me to watch and to be in a position to be able to watch that without him knowing that I was watching yeah, yeah, yeah. and also <laughs> that he was he was like totally unselfconsciously you know in the middle of the street trying to <laughs> get this cat to come over which really reminded me of something I would do but I never see people that like spending that long trying to get a cat's attention you know when some unforeseen things like this happens is the things that I have counted. Um, you tend to sit and think. It's it's really good that this is happening to all of the humanity. I'm really happy about this kind of thing. Like, of course, I wouldn't want any of this to happen. But if something is going to happen, everyone should experience this. I want this to bring about a big paradigm shift. I want people to uh, wake up and stop consuming mindlessly. There are these times that happens. It can be after losing someone. It can be about after like breaking up with someone that you love. It can be about after like getting fired from a work. It can be in the quarantine, you know. 
So these moments, these these ups and downs, creates these opportunities for you to to be yourself. I just hope that everyone's doing okay. <laughs> I just hope that people can find some some value in this time because, of course, it's it's not a um, the reason that we're, we've been isolated hasn't been a positive one. And I guess the isolation, and I know that the isolation for everyone isn't not, is not positive for everyone, but I do hope that, um, that something good can come of it on a collective level. You are listening to Corona Diaries. That was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Watch out for more episodes. Ciao, ciao.